All right, so we've been printing with these smaller reels. This is a half kilogram reel with a copper, shiny copper, and this is the reel that came with the <coughs> Dreamer NX. So this PLA is okay for prototyping, but it's, it has a really high bed temperature, and I decided to get some of this uh, black PLA for prototyping from uh, HQA. And I think this is a lot higher quality, and it should print better. But in any case, these reels are much bigger, of course, than the ones we have been using. So this reel is... Uh, Eighteen centimeters across, or 180 millimeters. And these are only uh, these are only uh, these are about the same, yeah. a little bit smaller. Uh, and these are half kilogram reels. Now this is a one kilogram reel, and it is 200 millimeters across, and it's uh, about uh, 80 millimeters thick. Here's a three quarter kilogram reel and that is also 200 millimeters across but it's a little bit thinner it's only a little about about 60 millimeters so the, que the question is whether these can fit inside the uh, printer but remember we did the uh, we made the Omnimax stand so we're hoping to get these to go inside if not we'll have to print some kind of a uh, hanger to go on the outside here and feed in the filament from the outside so we'll see how that goes all right, first we're gonna see if this one will fit. This is the uh, three quarters kilogram reel. And uh, this, the printer's in the home position. You see it's kind of hard to get it in there to uh, mount the reel. So I'm gonna show you a little macro I set up for the flash forwards that makes it easier to mount reels inside. All right, so to make it easier to mount those big spools, I've made a macro called Mount Spool. I'll show you how I program that. You go to Tools, Firmware Configuration, which is kind of counterintuitive to me, but it's all right. So here are the macros. So the first command uh, homes the X and Y axis. These are called G-code commands. You can look those up on the internet. The second one sends the Z axis or the, or the build plate to the bottom of the machine. That way we can get in there and mount those spools. And the last one turns the lights on just in case they're off. So, so that's the macro we're going to use. And let's go to the machine control panel and I press mount spool and you'll see what happens when I, when I do that. All right, so here's the machine. I'm going to press mount spool and you'll see what the command does. All right, so now with the print bed at the bottom of the printer, it'll be much easier to load those spools. So here's the three quarter kilogram spool that's about 60 millimeters across. So we're gonna use our spool insert. Uh, this is thin enough that the, the spools on the other side, there's not enough room for the other one, so leave that one off. We're gonna use a, our rod that we printed. I'm gonna use a 10 millimeter spacer that I made. And then we're going to put this over here. So the spacer will keep the reel away from the print bed, so and the print head of the important one. So put that in there, lock it in, and then we'll uh, move the print head up. And you can see we have enough clearance there. main thing we're worried about is the print head hitting the spool. So once we get this up a little bit, we'll move the print head over. So let's move the print head over and see if it's going to hit the spool while it's printing on this left edge of the uh, print bed. Let's move the print head up, print that up some more. Alright, so then when we're on the left side, we're right on the left edge of the print bed, and you can see that we're missing the spool. So that's good. 
So this spool should work fine inside the printer. All right, we're ready to try the next one. I'm gonna use my macro again to uh, move everything out of the way. So we'll unload this one and we'll try loading the, uh, the wider one. So with this out of the way now, it's much easier to get this out. So we'll be using that macro quite a bit for loading these spools from now on. So this one comes out. And here's the one that's, I think, 77 millimeters across, so like 77 or 80. So we're not going to be able to use this spacer. There's not enough room for the spacer. Okay. This rod is only long enough if, it goes all, if this goes all the way down inside this uh, insert. And this is wide enough to allow the insert on the other side to give it more stability, so we'll use that. So we'll put this in there. Alright, so it fits in there and it looks like it barely clears this bed. So let's try raising the bed up and see if it misses it. Yeah. Alright, so the bed is it's just barely missing it. But I'm afraid the print head is going to hit this thing. We'll see that in a second. The print head is going to hit this reel when it uh, comes over to this side. So let's try that. Let's try moving forward. And it's rubbing up against it. You see the reel turn a little bit. So it's not quite enough room there for it. So it's, there's barely enough room on the bottom. It's just barely clearing this. So it probably would work, but. Uh, You have that hot print head right next to this plastic reel. So that, to me, is not a good solution. So we're going to go ahead and print a, uh, a reel holder that will fit on the outside of the case. they will feed the, the filament up to the side here. All right, so we downloaded the Thingiverse project, and I, I'll, I'll sh you can find links in the description for that. So that we need two hangers, one for each side of the reel. So we'll print those first. We've got our project set up here with two of them. So I loaded them both in and I, I clicked on center and arrange and it automatically put them in a good position to print. And then I set up my process. So we're, we're printing with the ABS. So this is, we very well characterized this uh, filament. So we already have a profile for it. So the temperature platform, we need 105 to get good adhesion. And the extruder, we have a 230. So. That's worked well for all the way up for now. We, we printed all the other parts for the Omni stand and they worked out great. So I'm assuming the, I'm <coughs> confident these uh, temperatures will work for this project. All right, then we need to connect to the printer. Uh, it might already be connected. Let's see. Yeah, I already connected to the printer, so we're ready to go. We'll go ahead and send this to the printer and then. Um, it's going to take an hour and four minutes and take uh, 20 grams of material. So we have about a couple hundred grams left of the ABS, so this should be fine. And I'll have to click on this and I'll, I'll switch over to the time lapse. Perfect. So I just have to get them off. Got a new tool to get them off with. What I found works the best is get them started with this tool. 
because it's got a sharper edge on it. Find a corner, a square corner. And then I need to switch to this tool. This is an offset spatula. I'll put a link to this on Amazon. This is more gentle. And if you accidentally go through and pop it off and hit the part next to it, it, it doesn't hurt it. But there's this one. If you hit the part next to it, you can put a cut in it. So once I get it started with this one, I switch to this one. It's much more gentle. You kind of swish it back and forth, give it a little swishy, and it comes right off. See? Look at that. This is going to hang on the side of the uh, frame, just like this, on the side of the cabinet. So do the same with the other one. Offset, do some swishing back and forth, and off it comes. All right, those look good. Now we just need to um, do the rod that goes between them, and that's what the uh, reel spins on. So that's our next project. All right, so here's our project in Simplify 3D. So let's look at the rods that are available as part of the Thingiverse project. So there's one that's 98. That's what I selected here. So this is 98. <clears throat> so we remember the width of the reel is about um, 77. So a, this is a big enough for the reel that we've got. And probably a bit reels that are slightly bigger would be fine. 118 is the maximum width of the opening in the side of the Dreamer cabinet. But I don't think we're getting any reels that, that thick. I just can't imagine that. So. We can always print this out later, but I think I'd rather have one that's a little bit smaller and more be more controlled. So we're going to go stick with this one. So it fits within our build volume. We have 120 millimeters vertically, and the total height of this uh, uh, rod is 108 millimeters. So it's 98 from here to here, and then there's five on either side, I guess. All right, so we'll connect to the printer and print this up. It's going to take. Again, we're using our ABS profile. It's going to take about uh, two and a half hours. So we'll switch over to the time lapse. So we're ready to load our filament. So this is the wide reel, 80 millimeters, 77, 80 millimeters across. We're using both our spool inserts, and this is the rod we printed. Now, if we print it so that the, the uh, filament comes from the bottom, it's kind of a steep angle going up here. So we're going to uh, mount it this way and have the, have the filament come from the top. The other thing I did was I took one of the short straws that came with the machine and pushed it through this uh, slot in the grid here. Get a little closer, you can see that better in a minute. And um, that way we'll reduce any friction of going into the, into the uh, cabinet. Let's get this set up. I'll feed this through and I'll give you a close up of seeing how, show you how it works. Here's a close-up of it going into the machine. You can see this little straw. It's just held in by friction. I might put some tape on it to make sure it doesn't come out, but right now it's held in by friction. And then on the inside of the machine, see it's coming out here. So we're going to come around to our straw in the back, our feed straw. Go through there. You can see it's got a pretty, pretty nice path here. Kind of straight and then up. So there's not going to be a lot of friction or resistance. Then it comes out the top of the straw. Let me just go back into the print head. I'll put the other straw. I'll put the other straw in here for the uh, friction, for the erosion control. So. so that's our system for running big reels with the Dreamer NX. All right, so here's our final setup for loading from the side. So we, I put some tape on here keep this uh, panel from popping out. So the filament comes off the top of the reel and goes in through the little straw. 
And the, the printer came with two of these little short straws. Hard to see it there if I take it in. And it comes on the inside, the straw is sticking out down there. It goes in through our feed straw up to the top, and I got the other small straw here to help with erosion, to help with erosion control right here. So that's our setup, and it uh, looks like it's going to work fine. We're going to be doing some test printing in a few minutes. So. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Post a comment if you have any questions or ideas, and I'll try to respond. That's all for now, but more videos are coming, and if you want to see them, please subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification icon if you don't want to miss one. This is Beta Signy signing out, and keep looking up.